Hello friends. Welcome back to Prohat IT Services. Good to see you back. In this video, we'll learn the management of incidents in Microsoft Sentinel. For the same, let's go to Microsoft Sentinel. Click on the Sentinel that we have created. Let's hide this one. Now, before we go to the incidents, Let's click on overview to get the detail of all the incidents. Click on overview. In the overview tab, we can see detailed information about the total number of incidents, total number of active incidents, and the closed incidents. So at this point of time, we can see that we have 191 total incidents created. And if we scroll down, we can see the data connectors. And we can also see the data that we have received. And we can also see the analytics rule that we have created. So now let's go to incidents. Now we can see that in total, we have 191 new incidents and open incidents. So let's see that how we can manage these incidents in Microsoft Sentinel. To manage the incidents, let's click on any of these incidents to have detailed information about the incident. So here we can see that this incident is not assigned. It is showing as unassigned. If we click on the drop down, we can see the option if we wanted to assign this incident to any user. So let's assign this incident to user TU03 and click on apply. Now, this is the new incident that we have. So here, when we click on the drop down, we can see an option to active and close. If you wanted to change the status of this incident, we can do the same. Let's click on cancel. We are not doing it at this point of time. When we click on the severity, we can change the severity. So let's change the severity to high for this incident and click on apply. Now, what we have done is we have assigned this incident to TU03 user. Let's even change the status to active. Click on apply. So now this incident is assigned to user TU03, which means that when TU03 will log in and go to Microsoft Sentinel, user will see that this incident is assigned to the user. So as per your environment or as per your requirement, you can assign the incidents to the users who are supposed to manage those incidents. Now, if you scroll down, we can see detailed information like when exactly it was updated, when is the creation time, and we can see the rule name also. And we can also add the comment. So maybe let's try adding some comment. Uh, this is critical event. Please check. Okay. Now we have added the comment and by by clicking on view full details, we can see the full detail of this incident. So here we can see the full detail of the incident, right? So we can scroll down, we can see that this is the last comment that we have added. We can also assign the tag to the incident. And now let's close this. And now for TU03, user to manage the incidents, we need to grant them the required access. For that, let's open Azure subscription in new tab. So let me open new tab. Go to subscriptions. Click on the subscription that we have. Let's hide this. Click on access control. Click on add. Click on add role assignment. Here, let's search for the role, Microsoft Sentinel. So out here, we have multiple different roles. For this lab purpose, we will only be talking about the Microsoft Sentinel responder role. For rest of the roles, we're gonna talk about them in the future video. Let's click on Microsoft Sentinel responder. Click on next. Now click on select member. We wanted to assign this role to TU03 user. So let's select TU03, click on select, click on next, click on review and assign.
So now let's try logging with tu03 user. Let's go to portal.azure.com. We need to log in with tu03 user. So let's click on that. We'll give the password. Hit enter. Let's skip the. So now we are logged in as tu03 user. Let's click on Microsoft Sentinel. So here we can see the log analytics workspace that we have created. Let's hide this. Click on incidents. So out here, we can see all the incidents. And the first one is the one which is assigned to us. But we can see all the incidents. So let's click on status. And here we can see all the incidents. We can even see the close incidents. Let's cancel that. For the honors, let's select all honors or unassigned or assigned to me. For this lab purpose, let's click on assigned to me because we are logged in as TU03 user. Click on OK. So here we will only see one single incident that is assigned to us. So let's click on this incident. And here, let's click on view full details. Now here we can see detailed information of the incident, which is assigned to TU03 user. Now out here, on the left hand side, we can see the event for which it was created. So we can click on that. It will show us the detailed information. So here we can see that what was the reason why it was created. So we can see detailed information about that, right? So let's close this one. So out here, if we scroll down, we can see the comment which is written on this. So we'll write a comment to close this incident. Let's say, uh, seems like false positive. Let's send that. Now here we are changing the status of this to closed and we'll, we need to define the classification. We'll say false positive, select that. Whatever comment that user needs to type, they can type it here, click on apply. And now this will be closed. So no other changes are required. There are few actions that we can take but we're gonna talk about all these actions in the future videos. So let's close this. Now out here, let's refresh this. So now we don't see any incident that is assigned to us. Reason, because when we talk about the status, we only have new inactive incidents selected. We don't have closed incidents selected. So when the moment we select close and click on OK, we can see the closed incidents also. If we scroll towards the right, we can see the status of this incident that it is closed now. So this is how you can assign the incident to the users and users can log in to Microsoft Sentinel and they can take care of all the incidents which are assigned to them. Now take an example, this user needs to work on some other incidents. So let's click on all and change assigned to me to all incidents and click on OK. So that's where we will see all the incidents which are there in the Microsoft Sentinel. So if there is any incident on which we need to work, so just select that incident. And then for the ownership, just select and you can mention that whom you wanted to assign this incident. For this lab purpose, I'll say assign to me you can apply and review the incident by clicking on the alert and by clicking on the event. And then once done, so once the resolution is provided, just click on that and provide the reason why we are closing this. So true positive, suspicious activity, uh, test, and click on apply. So all good. So now even this incident is closed. 
So if we scroll towards the right, we can see that this incident is closed and it was assigned to user TU03. So that's how you can manage all of your incidents which are created in Microsoft Sentinel. Hope you have learned something from this video. If you like the video, please don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends. Bye friends, keep smiling and have fun.